get my gold on the ceiling. I ain't flying, it's just a matter of time for the ceiling. It's alright, ain't no God in my hands. Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing Gold on the Ceiling by the Black Keys. Let's zoom in and get straight into it. All right, so let's start off with the little intro here. Yeah, let's turn these, uh, my drive down a little bit. So I'm just turning the volume down a bit here on my guitar. And it takes the drive out of it, okay? So I'm starting off with an F power chord, F5 chord here. So normally you play it there. So what I'm doing, I'm playing on two middle strings, the third fret and the fifth fret on the D and G. And that slide from the third fret to the fifth fret. So we kind of got this like like this uh, power chord position for what we call a shuffle but we're just going to do one so we're going to go now it's not you know the picking's not perfectly accurate to to on the record but as you listen to it you'll be able to work it out okay so so i'm hitting the d string and then slide in from the third fret to the fifth fret and then I'm hitting the D string, so, uh, sh sorry, the G string, the third string. Okay. Then I'm going back down to the third fret. Then I'm pl playing this power chord. You can do it with the first and second finger or the first and third finger. And then you want to bring the pinky, it's a little bit of a stretch. So I'm making sure I'm only strumming those two middle strings, okay? Down, up, on, off. So the pinky goes on at the seventh fret on the G string. Okay, so. Then we move that whole position down to the A string, okay? So now this is a C power chord and it slides up to a D. We do exactly the same thing, but just on those other strings, the A and the D string, so. Okay. 
Then it goes down to B flat, okay, which is just the first fret on the A string. Let's do the whole thing. So it goes down to the first, back up to the third, then a very quick first fret on the A string, and then we're into that. So sometimes you'll see me, because I learned this from watching live footage, they probably do it a little bit differently to how they do on the records, you know, because you can hear overlays on the record, but I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible, all right? So you don't have to overlay all these extra guitars and stuff. You can actually, instead of just playing that G note, the third fret on the bottom E, you could play a G power chord there, so G5. That would make it sound a bit fatter, okay? Now, I've got the drive turned up here with a bit of boutique uh, reverb on it. A bit of spring reverb, okay? Um, so, yeah, when you watch him in the live, live footage, he's got someone in the background, you know, thickening up the guitars, fattening up the guitars, playing the overlay in the background, and plus they got the keys, okay? So it's either or at this point. So that's just three, 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 six, three on the A string, back to six, back to three. Okay, so it's G, 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 A sharp, C, back to A sharp. Now when you're doing these notes, down, 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 up, down, up. We can add a power chord in there. And that'll make it sound a bit fatter. Then the keys come in, obviously, over the top. Bam, ba -da -da -dum, ba -da -da -dum. Okay, so I'm just doing that over the top. And I've actually layered two guitars, but I'm just going to show you the main melody. You can play it anywhere. <laughs> play it down there but sounds kind of cool up here okay so 12th fret on the G string so that's 12 12 10 12 on the D back to 10 on the G then I'm going 12 10 12 10 so 12 10 on the G 12 10 on the D And you go back up. So that's 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12 on the D, 10, 12 on the G. The whole thing. Then finally. So that's 12 on the G. I'm using my second finger to play 11 on the B, the second string, and go back to 12 on the G. Whole thing, slowly. Okay, and you can put a, a little bit of vibrato in there. Now that's what's going on on the keys, okay? It's just my interpretation. Do it down there as well. It's just five on the D. Three, five, three, five, three. But then when you play the G, it's going to be three. You're not going to use your second finger. Okay. So if you want to layer those up, or there's two of you, you've got two different parts to play. Okay. Now what you can do here when it gets into the main verse. Down, down. She screams again. So all he's playing there is G, 
Now I'm kind of doing a bit of a bar chord here. You can do power chords. G, this is third fret on the bottom E string, and the fifth fret on the A. Move that down two frets. That becomes an F. Then move it over to the A string at the third fret. Make sure you don't hit the bottom E anymore, okay? And just those two strings, or if you want to flatten the finger or put the pinky underneath on the G, that'll make it sound a bit fatter again. And it just goes back to that G. So I'm chucking that the A sharp in again, the sixth fret like we did on the intro. Just doing a little curl, like a little bend. Okay, and then back to the third fret. Bend, third fret. So if you watch him live, he doesn't play chords. He goes. So that's going to work out fine in a band situation. But if you want to fatten it up again, you can just use the chords. Power chords. Two string power chords, or you know, I add another note. Because you can hear an acoustic guitar in the background on the original record. And the rhythm's quite kind of dunga 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 dunga. Down up down up down up down up. Okay, a bit scruffy, but you get the idea, okay? Um, then there's this little pre-chorus. Um... And it's just F. You could do an F there. C and G. So if you are playing this on the acoustic and these power chords don't sound quite right. Actually, you can just use the open chords. If I could clean this up a little bit here. G, F, C, G. You don't have to do the bar chord, F, G, F there, C. That's gonna work just as nicely as well, okay? Down, down, up, 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 down. Then we come back into this pre-chorus. So I'm just playing notes there again. In the beginning, the kind of early verses, I played notes, then I fattened it up with chords later on. That's just F. That's a down up, okay, which is the first fret on the bottom E string. It's C, C, again, down up. That's the third fret on the A string. G, which is third fret on the bottom E string. So it goes G, G, F, G. Let me play the whole thing. F, F, C, C, G, G, F, G. Or 1, 1, 3, 3 on the A string. 3, 3 on the E string. 1, 3. And you see, I kind of keep my hand going for the rhythm. I'm gonna get my just repeats. Okay, and I'm always like muting to tidy things up to keep it nice and nice and tight. Okay, you can do that with power chords. Okay, you don't even have to do the rhythm in between, okay? That's just what I'm adding. So then we're into the chorus. Again, you could do this, it's the same chords, it's the same four chords. Um, G, go, turn the distortion down, the drive down. Go on the ceiling, 
F, C, I ain't blind, G, just a matter of time. So yeah, did I say four chords? Three chords. G, F, C, back to G. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. If you want them to sound a bit more rocky, turn your drive up. You can do it in power chords. Just like in the intro kind of thing, right? Down and 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 down. Just like in the verses. Third fret. First fret. Over to the A string. Third fret. You could do that in bar chords. G, F, C, G. You could even have that add that a little curl on the A sharp there. Okay, and again in the background you can hear that. Now there's a little kind of solo thing here. I'm not going to show you exactly what's going on, but it's pretty easy to work out. Again, you know, these guys, the blues guys, they tend to do things different every time. So when you watch the footage, it's always slightly different. You could learn exactly what it is on the record, but personally, I think that defeats the object. It's all about how things feel. And they're just using the G minor pentatonic. So, you know, go away and learn the pentatonic if you're trying to learn solos and you're not familiar with them. I'm starting off all three fingers at the 15th fret. Uh, actually, this is the 17th fret. 17th fret, so my third finger's on the 17th. And I'm bending up to the 19th, back down to 15, and pulling off to 15. Okay, so 17, bend to 19. Back to 17, pull off to 15. Hopefully that makes more sense. And then you want 17 on the D. And 15 back on the G. So slowly. Or you can put 15, 17 on the end. Or. And I'm just doing 17, 15 on the G. So you make your way down the pentatonic. Fifteen, hammer on seventeen. Okay, it's really, really simple stuff. It's all about the feel. Okay, so I'll just show you the pentatonic position here. So. Uh, 17, uh, so sorry, 19, 18, 15, 18, 15, 17, 15, 17, 15, 17, 15, 13, 15. Obviously, you could do that, but it's a bit awkward. So that's what's going on in the solo. You could do the lower octave. Sounds better up here though, right? Okay, so it's important if you're trying to learn solos, learn the pentatonic and you'll find it really easy, okay? So there you have it guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to receive these weekly updates and hit that bell button as well, okay? There's some links below to Instagram, Facebook, a uh, playlist I've done for Spotify and also you can get some t-shirts with this cool logo on and also if you'd like to support me I've set up a donation button on my website and I appreciate anything you can support me with guys because I don't get paid for these covers despite what people think all right and uh, enjoy I'll see you again the same time next week